Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well. Today, I'm asking our AI overlords to help me write a math rock song. So I think it's going to give me an entire um, song structure here, which is not really what I want it to do. I want to go uh, part by part for this song. So I'm going to get to stop generating there. Recommend a song title. <laughs> Fractal patterns, calculus jam, <laughs> Fibonacci sequence, algorithmic chaos. Um, have we got <laughs> I'm gonna go with algorith algorithmic chaos. I think that's a great choice. How many sections shall our song have? Okay, so we've got verse, chorus, bridge, outro. So I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna go with the intro, verse, chorus, bridge, outro. I'm gonna make this a four section song. So I'm gonna do intro, verse, chorus, and a bridge, let's say. Four sections. Okay, and now it's going to start generating the rest of that, but I'm going to stop it there. Comment a chord progression progression for section one. Okay, so here's a possible introduction section for al algorithmic chaos. So we've got A minor, B diminished, C major 7, and a D minor 7. This progression incorporates some dissonant chords and helps create a sense of tension and complexity, which are common features in math rock. The A minor chord sets a melancholic and introspective tone, while the B minor and C major 7 chords introduce some instability and dissonance. The D minor 7 chords bring us back to a more ground... Uh, sorry. The D minor 7 chord brings us back to a more grounded, resolved sound. You could experiment with different voicings and different versions to make the chords sound even more interesting. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So the chords that this is recommending is an A minor, B diminished, C major 7, and a D minor 7. That's going to be our chord progression. As we've been recommended for algorithmic chaos, we're going to practice using some kind of inversions, especially the major seven and the D minor seven chord. And this is the progression that I've come up with. I'm happy with that. I think that sounded really cool. And that's the chord progression, to be honest, that I wouldn't think of, so really interesting. So thank you very much, uh, ChatGPT. What I'd like to do next is for it to recommend a time signature. This is math rock after all. Okay, so we're getting a whole bunch of them here. Is it going to recommend a particular one for me? Okay, we're gonna go with seven, eight. Heading over to Ableton, I'm gonna change this to the time signature of seven, eight for the first part of our song. Uh, seven, eight. And I'm going to have what? So we've got four chords, let's say, and I'm going to repeat this. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, bar. So I'm going to loop this and yeah, into the space of four. And I think I'm going to do four cycles and then the fifth cycle, I'm going to add a little bit of variation to change into the next section. So I'm going to lay down this chord progression. In 7-8, we usually accent the 1 and the 3 or the 1 and the 4. And an easy way to count 7-8 is to think about it as like a bar of 4, but with the and chopped off the end. Well, a little bit chopped off the end. So for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. You get this lovely odd kind of feel to it. So I'm going to have a play around with these chords and then I'm going to try and put some chord progression into this bar here. All right, so after messing around, I've come up with this 7-8 idea that accents the one and the four of each beat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And like I said, I'm gonna repeat this three times, and then on the fourth time, I'm going to add some variation because I'm thinking about my second guitar part that I'm going to write, and I'm gonna try and chop and change between the two parts. So what I'm going to go to do now is back to chat GPT and then I'm going to ask it um, what will the melody be like? Okay, the melody of section one for algorithmic chaos will depend on the specific mood and atmosphere you want to create and introduce. Here are some possible approaches you could take. 
use a simple repeating melody. You could create a catchy repeating melody that emphasizes the rhythm, the groove, and the section, so on and so forth. Okay, so let me just read through these quickly. I like this number two recommendation here, right? Experiment with dissonant intervals. In math rock, dissonant intervals such as seconds and fourths and sevenths are often used to create tension and complexity. You could incorporate these intervals into the melody to create a sense of dissonance and unpredictability. And that's exactly what I will do. I plan to outline the chords, but I want to use less obvious choices in my note choices. So I'm going to have a go at that now. All right, so let me bring you up to speed where we are with the song. So I've had a play around with the melody. I took ChatGBT's um, recommendations and tried to make something that sounded very dissonant. So I looked at a lot of seconds, fourths and sevenths in the melody. So for the first section, I didn't want it to sound, you know, too much going on at the same time, so I just have this simple part come in. And I'm highlighting the fourth there. And I put a little bit of diminished tapping to follow that B minor 7 flat 5. And then I do a similar motif again. Again, highlighting the fourth of each chord. This sounds very odd, very peculiar. And after this, I thought I'd go really dissonant and I'm going to outline the, I outline the 2nd, 4th and 7th of each of the chords with this kind of rhythmic pattern. <laughs> that, was, that was particularly nasty, right? Especially that major seventh in the C there. And then I thought I'd save your ears a little bit, and then I went over just um, outlining the the first, third, and the fifth, just the nice notes of each chord. Now. This wacky introduction kind of written and suggested here by ChatGPT and this is a very unique way of writing because I wouldn't have thought of this chord progression to be honest and I've really approached it with a mix of dissonance and some niceness for your ears. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask ChatGPT to recommend the final three sections of this song. I'm going to go and write those sections so we'll look at the chord progressions, the time signatures and the next thing you're going to hear is the final project co-written with an AI. This has been fantastic and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and enjoy this song.